Let's start creating a new project. We have to enter the name and the horizontal and vertical alignments. The program supports different file formats. For this sample, we are going to choose LAN XML format. Each file can have more than one alignment, so we have to choose which one to import. Now we see the horizontal alignment numerical definition and we can get information from every segment. If we activate the view tab, then we can see also the drawing of the horizontal alignment, including the stations. With vertical alignment, we can draw a profile view and see the distance to origin and heights. Now we are going to import the point cloud data. You can see the different formats supported. For this case, we choose Cyclone PTS format and select the files to be imported. Also, we can decide if importing the full file or a percentage. After importing points, we can see the different scan sessions. This sample has about 12 million points. Now we can select some session or the whole point cloud. Using perspective view allow us to enter inside the tunnel and moving forward and backward along the alignment. Of course, there are buttons for plan view, front view, or right view, as you can see. Now we are going to filter point cloud. The program has different tools for filtering points by coordinates, angle, or distance to template. We can use the controls to give values to filtering parameters, and we see the representation of a transparent solid in real time. You can see now the filter by angle option in which we can define a cylinder or segment of cylinder that can be very useful for cleaning points in ventilation pipes, for instance. Cross sections. First, we have to create a new file and give some parameters. The most important are initial and final station, interval and bandwidth, that is the maximum distance from points to the cross-section plane. All cross-sections have been computed, as you can see in the drawing and table of contents. We can add more detail in some important stations. For this gallery, we are going to get cross sections every 20 centimeters. You can see now the cross sections over the point cloud. We can view the cross sections for the station desired simply by selecting it in the table of contents. Also, you can see the points near the cross section plane up to some distance that can be changed. In order to get the correct cross sections, we can remove points that don't belong to the tunnel. Now we select them by rectangle or polygon. If we delete them, the cross section is recomputed.
We can repeat this procedure not only station by station, but using a longer segment. For instance, we are going to show 10 meters at each side. Then we select and remove all wrong points. In fact, the points are not deleted, they are transferred to filter and spoil layer. We select all points inside the polygon drawn and remove them. And all cross sections in this interval has been recomputed. Now we are going to define the, the tunnel template. We give the name and the destroy height that can be used to get separate results for areas and volumes with heights under and over this one. Then we import a DXF file having the template drawn as a polyline. We simply get the polyline and copy it using a point as origin. Now we paste the figure and save changes. The template is drawn over the cross sections and we can show or hide the distance between them. Also, we can draw as polygons the excavation areas inside or outside the tunnel by activating the options. You can see in the dialog the numerical values. We can get all this data together in a report. First, we can choose to get areas only from excavated terrain. The report can be exported to a text, Excel or HTML file. Then we want to get a report of areas inside and outside templates. We separate results for advance and destroy. You can see now the different results. Now we are going to export the drawing of cross sections to a DXF file. We can export a single cross section or a rank of stations. Also we can specify the scale, size of paper and the elements to draw. Now we open some CAD and see the drawing of cross sections in different layers.
One interesting option is the inspection map, that is a bitmap in which each color represents the distance between theoretical and excavated tunnel. With first the station's interval, the minimum and maximum values, and the color palette, and the inspection map is drawn. The last option is an animation inside the tunnel. Given the parameters like a station range, a speed and layers to show, you can move forward and backward and save it to a video file.